This is how President Obama sees his stimulus plan, creating green tech jobs for a country badly in need of them. But this is how it ended for one company he visited and hailed bankruptcy and an FBI raid. When Solyndra LLC went bust, not only did a thousand workers lose jobs making solar panels, the taxpayer was faced with huge losses thanks to a half billion dollar loan guarantee. The White House says these things happen in emerging industries, especially when low cost competitors emerge in China. What, what happened here is an investment uh, uh, did not pan out. There are a variety of reasons for that that have to do with the international marketplace and the price. But Republicans say Solyndra was doomed from the start, and its loan rushed to approval because of Obama's backing and visit. It appeared that the shovel that this project was ready for was to bury it somewhere, and yet it was resurrected. Indeed, newly disclosed emails show White House budget experts warning of the time pressure they're under to approve the loan and urging more study. Administration officials insist career officials at the Energy Department okayed the plan, but company executives are to testify next week, and lawmakers want answers. Republicans noting a major Obama fundraiser was among Solyndra's investors. For a president already struggling over the economy, the Solyndra collapse is an emerging new headache. Critics have long called his stimulus program a costly failure. Now they're asking if its solar energy component involved political cronyism as well. Mark Smith, The Associated Press, The White House.